The new Netflix series tells the story of Clark Olofsson, the man behind Stockholm Syndrome, who fooled all of Sweden to love him despite his crimes. I watched the new series starring Bill Skarsgård, Clark. Should you? Let's find out. How's it going, movie watchers? Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the new Netflix series, Clark, which is based on the true story of Clark Olofsson, who is the man behind Stockholm Syndrome. Seriously, read about this guy and all of his crimes spanning several decades. It is absolutely insane that even just a few years ago, he was still committing crimes, even from the 60s. It is insane. But Bill Skarsgård, who also played Pennywise, is in here playing Clark Olofsson, and there are six episodes, some are over an hour long, that just recount a lot of his crimes, his time in jail, his relationships, his time on the run, him being chased by the police, him helping out the police. There is so much going on in here, and it's absolutely chaotic. And I feel like it needed to be chaotic because of what his life was like. It was constantly going. He was constantly in jail. He was constantly breaking out of jail. He was constantly on the run throughout his life. He was conning women into thinking that they were going to get married. He was having several different relationships. It was absolutely insane. But the show has such a quick pace and so many quick edits to really add to that chaos of his life it's maintaining its tone to match his life there's many times where we have long periods of time where people aren't just sitting down and talking to each other there's a few times in each episode where people just sit down they kind of just talk about certain things but for the most part it's scene after scene that is just bouncing back and forth just going absolutely crazy looking at clark when he was younger with his mother and his father and how his father abused him and when he was running away and uh his time in prison it's just going back and forth and there's so many different techniques that are used throughout here to accompany that a lot of black and white sequences there was even an animated part to it uh, the editing is just constantly changing they're using different techniques to uh, tell their story it's very inconsistent i think that was the point of it is that it's always it's always changing and that's his life it was something was always changing something was always happening so when you really look at the editing the pacing for it how absolutely crazy it was i think that was needed to match his life now bill skarsgård man he just absolutely goes all in with his performance and every single scene i saw a smile and he just had like a blast and I understand that Stockholm Syndrome is that uh, he was very lovable. People really liked him. And despite all of his crimes, people cared for this person. He was famous for what he did. Bill Skarsgård is just pure chaos within here. He is always smiling. He's take, never He never takes things seriously. When the police are chasing after him, he thinks it's a game. And Bill Skarsgård gives such a good performance. There is a few times when we have some narration about his past and those are some of the more emotional moments. And when he kind of reflects on all of that, those are when the moments just kind of slow down and be a little more emotional. But for the most part, Bill Skarsgård is always moving. He's always cracking jokes. He's always having fun despite all of his crimes. And he just comes up with crimes like that. Like, I lost some money last night. Let's go rob a bank. It's not going to be a big deal. He never really takes anything seriously. And you see that on Bill Skarsgård's face. He's just having the time of his life and gives a really compelling, really honest performance and just has such fun with it. And we're just feeling that energy, that Stockholm Syndrome that's going on and the man behind it all. It's a blast. I was honestly surprised with how much I did like Clark. I thought the, the energy was just flowing very nicely. I had a lot of moments that had uh, Clark be able to reflect on his life. A lot of those black and white sequences that uh, showcased uh, him and his mother and how he learned to steal, how he learned to protect himself. 
that's just the man he became because of what he was exposed to when he was younger. He never really had a chance to get out of that. And that's just what he became comfortable with. That's how he became a person and that affected the, his whole life. And so we see a lot of those moments that really shape who he is now and just kind of gives you a new perspective on this person. This is one of my favorite shows of this year so far for its pure chaos. Bill Skarsgård's over-the-top, absolutely insane performance. It's quick pace despite six episodes, some over an hour long. It feels quick. It feels just like it's always moving, and that's really helping the runtime and your enjoyment as well. Never feels slow despite some of those more emotional moments that are happening for him as he's reflecting on things about his past. It never feels slow. It's always going. It's a quick watch and it's absolutely insane and hilarious and just a good time. So before I give you my score for Clark, the new Netflix series about Clark Olofsson, the man behind the Stockholm Syndrome, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit the subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Clark a B plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Clark, the new Netflix series. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watch Movies and you guys stay classy, YouTube.